So, Karen Bass will be the first woman to serve as the mayor of Los Angeles. CBS News projected Wednesday that the Democratic Congresswoman defeated billionaire Rick Caruso in a closely watched race. Republican-turned-Democrat Caruso conceded defeat to Bass last night. Bass had served six terms in Congress and was on President Biden's shortlist for a running mate, potentially, in 2020. Joining us now to discuss this is Laura Cordy. She covers politics for Politico in the state of California. She's also the co-author of Politico's California Playbook, something I know in D.C. we read all the time, the mm -hmm. Politico Playbook, and folks everywhere. So it's great to have you with us. Uh, Rick Caruso outspent Karen Bass 11 to 1. 11 Just to 1. Just to repeat that to folks, that's absolutely huge, and he still lost. He had millions um, from his own personal funds pumped into this campaign. So in your view, how did the congresswoman emerge victorious? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like you said, Rick Caruso just far outspent Karen Bass. He was actually the highest spender in any L.A. municipal race. But I think at the end of the day, when people look at Karen Bass's victory, they're going to look at her decades of service. I mean, she has truly cut her teeth and built her reputation in the public sphere. She was an organizer in South L.A. in the 90s. She went on to become assembly speaker where she worked with uh Republican Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger during the 2008 financial crisis. And of course, as you mentioned, she's represented Los Angeles in Congress since 2011. Um, that's a lot different than Rick Caruso, who is very notable and has had a long and storied career, but it's been mostly in the private sector. He has served on some city boards, but he was appointed to those positions by mayors. And so Karen Bash has had the huge backing of the Democratic Party establishment. She had Joe Biden on her side, Barack Obama. And I think at the end of the day, that really helped her make up for that uh, gap in spending. Laura, how, so that's that's a lot of the bio aspect of it, but were the the issues really a driving factor in where people put their votes? Absolutely. I mean, voters were looking for a leader who can speak to their concerns, and this year, overwhelmingly, that was homelessness and crime. California as a whole contains about 25% of the nation's homeless population. 69,000 of those are in Los Angeles. And it's a problem for residents there who see it overtaking their sidewalks, see it overtaking uh, underpass areas. And that's something that Karen Bass had to speak to. It's something that Rick Caruso really made the center of his campaign. But Karen Bass now entering office, you know, as she said last night, we're going to fix homelessness. We're going to make crime better. So she understands that this is what voters want. And I think that they expect her to deliver deliver on those promises. And one of the local issues that came to the forefront um, amid this election was this racist scandal involving um, city council members. It sparked outrage mm. throughout the city, and it's something you covered extensively and, and written about. So how did Bass navigate that, and how does her win, I don't know, open the door to, to, to potential healing on this front? Right. Um, Karen Bass, like a lot of California officials, came out early condemning these leaked racist audio tapes from Los Angeles city councilors. This was something that really exposed the deep rift between the Latino and the black communities in Los Angeles. And that's actually you know, where Karen Bass got her start. She started the community coalition in South LA in the 90s specifically to help bridge divides between Latino and black communities. I mean, the expectations on her in regards to this issue are pretty high. Um, she's going to be expected to use her bully pulpit to bring people together to um, heal those wounds. I will say that two of the city council members who were caught in those tapes did not resign. Um, and so we're going to see if she's going to be able to, you know, help this city council navigate these murky waters. I mean, the city has a lot to do. She's going to need them. She's going to uh, address the city's homelessness and crime problems. And so they're really expecting her to speak to these racial divisions and, and do something about it. All right. Laura Cordy, thank you very much. Happy to be here.